This is exactly how I'm walking to work today. My foot hurts. I have blisters from those boots. Everything hurts. Today's drawings were a little more difficult. Uh, those two were drawn by my boss's boys. <laughs> okay, but like, look at this packaging. Oh my God. Like, yes, yes, Starbucks come through. Yes. Day. <laughs> I bought, it's so difficult doing this with one hand. So today I bought the mug because I love me a good mug. And that's, oh my God. That was 24,000 won, which is about 15 pounds, I would say. And then, oh, 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 look at this glass. Oh no, so. Yes, I will be keeping the boxes. And then there is the glass. So nice. Oh my God, I can't wait to use this. My Starbies is chilling up there. Hey girl. And I've got my food cooking away. It's slightly burning, but you know, it's fine. So what I've started doing is cooking hi you're going to see my my eyes for a very long time i hope you're okay with this no so what i've started doing is cooking more than what i need to on the first day oh, and look at my makeup um and then eating what's left over until it's gone because it's just it's just easier that way it's just like this is a lot easier doing it that way, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? What is it? Who are you? What do you want? Oh my god, you've gotten fat. Because I don't have to worry about cooking every day and I'm still eating well, just not. <laughs> Careful boiling. Just not putting too much effort into everything, you know? You feel me, Cheech? You with me? Okay, so I. <laughs> I'm sat here watching Nonstop Dan. Um, he does plane reviews and stuff like that. And he's talking about um, some kind of some flight. I don't remember which one. I don't really care. You know, I'll never be able to afford it. Um, but it, it reminded me of KLM. And I needed, I, I, I should have said, I was going to say something during my first vlog from Korea, but I completely forgot. So I'm saying it now before I forget so that, you know, I can tell you about how much I really appreciated KLM. I would say the best flight was from Heathrow to Amsterdam because one of the economy seats were 10 times more comfortable. I think that has something to do with the fact that it was a smaller plane. Um, but the seats were way more comfortable. They were like really, really plush. And I was like, oh, I think, I think if I had those seats on the eight hour flight from Amsterdam to Seoul, I definitely wouldn't have had a problem sleeping. To be honest, it was, oh, it was so comfy. Second, the service on the Amsterdam to Seoul, no, the Amps, no, no. The Heathrow, <laughs> the Heathrow to Amsterdam flight was impeccable, absolutely impeccable. So I sat, long story short, I was having trouble finding my seat because I thought someone had already sat in my seat. Doesn't, doesn't matter why, but I was having trouble locating my seat. Um, and I saw that there were four at the back of the plane free and I said, to one of the ladies who worked there almost in floods of tears so I was still really emotional from saying goodbye to my family um I was like can I sit here I, I I'm having trouble finding my seat and she was like okay well what's your name 
because they're also in my mind as well when I was trying to find my seat I was like oh my god have I got on the wrong plane have, have have I got on the wrong plane and like I know that's literally impossible because if I'd gone to the wrong gate to get on the plane um they would have been like hang on a minute love this this ain't your flight but you know my my brain was panicking so I was like oh my god have I got on the wrong plane oh my god I think I've got on the wrong plane oh my god but she found my seat and it was empty but I because I was still like panicking and a little bit flustered and kind of crying on her she was like um she took she let me keep my bags at the back of the plane and then she said that if I wanted to once we were at a safe uh height I could go and sit at the back of the plane with my bags and I was like oh <laughs> fantastic anyway so I was sat in 12d so I was at, kind of at the front of the plane um and got all settled and comfy and was there for about an hour and a bit before we landed so for the last half an hour I was able to go and sit at the back but that was because I didn't move I could have moved I just didn't and she came by and she was like you can go and sit at the back you know I was like oh thank you very much I think I will so I did uh took my pringles and my toblerone around and i was like bye bitch i'm off oh. the problem that i had was at the back of the plane was randomly and i have never ever had this problem before so you know literally you can say what you want but i know that this isn't ever an issue for me but right at the back of the plane there was something wrong with the seat belt genuinely something wrong with the seat belt because at the front of the plane my seatbelt fit fine, absolutely fine. There was little trouble, apart from trying to find the clippy bit. There was no trouble getting it on me at all. I moved to the back of the plane, however, and I can't do my seatbelt that. So I, because I, I didn't know who around me was asleep, so I didn't want to wake them up. Plus, I have a tendency of being really, really loud when I'm not supposed to be. Um, I wrote a note on my phone saying, or asking for the belt extender because for some reason this one didn't fit don't understand why but it didn't fit and um so i called her over and she came over and i said and i showed her my phone and she disappeared to go and find a belt extender came back with it and she did it so subtly she gave me it so subtly i thought she was i, I don't i didn't know what she was doing but then i saw it i was like oh my god it was like you know how in like American movies, you've got that suave dad character who will hide a $20 bill in his hand and then will just like shake the person's hand and all of a sudden they've got $20 in their hand and they're like, whoa, hang on a minute. That's exactly what I was like with the belt extender because like, she just sort of like, do you want a belt extender? Do you want a belt extender? Go on then, take it off, take it, short. I, I have known on some flights, some people, some airline crew members will sort of brandish the belt around a bit and like kind of humiliate you if you need it which you know it isn't always because you're fat it's you know part of it is genuinely because like on KLM the belt was must have been twisted somewhere and it just wasn't fitting properly it's not always because you're fat so normally they'll just or sometimes they'll give you the belt extender but they'll make a big deal about it and you know they'll be really loud about it but she was just like slipping me that belt like yeah i got you i got you love i got your back love <laughs> you're a legend but yeah i just thought that was really impressive and i thought i need to share you're welcome for the information I was about to eat alone in my apartment but then someone from school got in touch and now we're going out for dinner so I'm very excited to see where we're gonna go no idea where I'm actually going today's gonna be a good day there's a, a bit of find us about the app has a warning. Gee, some caution. Um, but nobody around has a face mask on. Nobody's worried, so I'm not worried. But you can see it. You can see it in the air, and it's really weird. It looks like fog, a slightly orange fog. Very strange.
this was actually a much longer walk than I thought it would be. Oh no. The amount of restraint that I had in that shop, honestly, I'm proud of myself. I spent about 10,000 won on something and it's all stuff that I needed as well. So, I'm so proud of myself. So, I bought a bath mat that I can cut up and use for under my bed because it keeps moving and one, it's damaging the floor and two, the bed is going to break. Um, so, hopefully, this bath mat will stop it from moving while I'm sleeping or sat on it. I bought a spatula, a Disney spatula as well, which I'm so excited about because I accidentally melted the other one. Um, <laughs> and then I treated myself to a pair of, um, oh, what are they called? Those little grabby things, the pincers, my sister calls them. So yeah, I treated myself to a pair of Disney those as well. I'm so pleased with myself, honestly. <laughs> I could have spent a fortune, but I didn't. <sighs> yeah. Okay, let's figure this out. What? What the hell? So, hang on a minute. Let me, let me get this straight for a minute because I'm, I'm struggling a little bit here. Not gonna lie. So first of all, the girl before me decides to eat literal tarmac and then decides to leave her entire digestive system cemented to my toilet with a broken toilet seat as well, might I add, thank you very much. But then I also find out that there is something disgusting on the underside of my mattress that is also brown. Not today, Satan. Absolutely not. I'm moving. You better have spilt coffee. I'm just saying, that better not be the projectile of what was in there, on there because I will fly tip or I will burn. Starbucks which is just around the corner from me um, and I've figured out that I th well I think they might have sold out of the BTS Starbucks um, products so this is gonna sound crazy but I'm gonna, it's gonna sound like I'm doing this for BTS I'm not I'm doing this solely because I'm bored Shitless. Right now. So, I have decided, same to you, I have decided to come back home, give myself a couple of minutes to, you know, have a wee and whatnot, change into some shoes, think blisters permitting, um, that are a little more comfortable and supportive, because, you know, we all need something supportive, and I'm going to walk for what Cacao Map says to be an hour, I beg to differ, um, to <laughs> the next Starbucks in the town next to me. Because I, I literally, I have nothing better to do. School is shut, everything around me is shut because it's Lunar New Year today. Um, I need, I need something to do, uh, which is what, which is what I'm doing now. So yes, I'm just locating the nearest Starbucks. Gonna go and relieve myself. Hopefully put some new shoes on. I'm gonna pack my Old Faithfuls just in case. They're gonna go in my bag. Um, but yes, that's what I'm doing today. You can believe me or you want, 
but I'm genuinely doing this because there is nothing else to do. I have been on my bed watching TikToks, honest to God, for an hour and a half. Like, why is no one here to stop me? Can someone move in with me, please, and stop me from spending an hour and a half lying on my bed watching TikToks? Something's wrong. Like, there is something wrong right now. And I don't... It might be the rice cake. So my friend, I mean, I'm calling her a friend because I don't quite know how else to easily describe who she is to me right now. We met up, she took me to a beauty store. She asked the woman for lip balm for me because, you know, I'm, I'm out. So she, you know, made my life easier, like a good person. And then to further her goodness, her mum made rice cakes and she gave me some. She gave me some tok, okay? And it was delicious tok too. Because about two hours ago, I just sat there and ate, and I ate it. Not all of it. One little foam thingy of tok, okay? So, you know, she's nice. Her family's great. We've established this, okay? So I eat one of the little fingers, because like, to be honest, I've not eaten much today, which is weird for me, because I'm fat, so, you know, there's that. But also, like, I've, I'm not eating much. Today. But something doesn't feel right. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the rice cakes. Or just the apartment. <laughs> something feels weird. Something isn't right. But not necessarily with my house. Despite me talking about rice cakes and not eating much. There's just something in my life right now feels weird. Is this what an actual midlife crisis feels like? Or a quarter life crisis, rather, because, you know, I'm almost 25. <laughs> is, this, is this what one of those quarter life crises sees? Sees, sees, the salad. Is that what one of those feels like? I don't know, I don't eat salad. I, I, is, is, this, is that what salad feels like? I don't know, bruh. I mean, I've just spent the last hour and a half of my life led on my bed watching TikToks. So I don't know anything right now. <coughs> Apart from it's a bit cold in here. I think I might have to... I think I have to put the heat on. Hmm. Yeah. Heating. Put the heating on. Hello? Are you cooking? Can I have the popcorn? Yes, no, maybe, you don't know. This is the closest to being a uni student. 
I've ever felt. And I've been a uni student. I really need to buy a mop. <laughs> this is the most, this is the least eco-friendly way of cleaning your floors. What it needs doing. I mean, it's working, to be fair, and it's doing a pretty good job. <laughs>